Hey guys, this is Colby. Today I'm going to show you how to model details for the character. And this will be the last step for modeling. And next time I'll show you how to rig the character. And then we can start animating him. So let's get started. So making details is fairly easy. All you got to do is just hold down shift, right click on any point of the base mesh and where you want and spawn something. So in order to do that, so we're going to press shift A to create a cube. So mesh, cube. And we're just going to be doing this for the rest of the armor and just adding these little pieces around the all of the character. They don't have to be very like specific or functional, just as long as they add a little bit of extra detail. So I'm going to get started with this one. So here it's just a cube. I'm just moving this one back. I'm selecting this face here, just moving it on the Y axis backward a little bit. And then doing the same over here. And then I'm going to scale down. It can be random. Just make it look good. Move this up a little bit. And it's mirror it's across the base mesh. So add modifier, mirror, and yeah, good. So now I'm gonna add a little bit of a piece right here. And it'll look pretty cool. So I'm gonna hold down shift, right click on the base mesh again. Mesh, shift A, create a cube. Scale it down a bit, so press S, and then hold down your left mouse and drag it inward a little bit. So it's right there. I'm just move it back. I'm going to go into edit mode, move this part up here, and then scale in x-axis a little bit. Move this part down here, right there. I'm going to go back into object mode, recenter it, so move it a little bit to the right here, just to make it sure it's you know right in the middle. And then on this face, I'm going to go back into edit mode, and press I to inset, and then move this face outward a little bit. I'm going to select this edger here and just move it back. And I'll do the same right here. That looks pretty good. So now I'm going to add some extra little details right here on the side of the thigh to connect these two pieces. So hold down Shift, right click, and then press Shift A, cube again, and then scale it down. I'm just going to move it right about here. We're going to create another one, we're going to duplicate it, but for now we're just going to make sure this one looks good. So right here I'm just going to move this inward a little bit. I'm going to press Control R and then scroll up once, that'll create two edge loops. Then left click, now scale these on the wax a little bit. So it's an S and then Y, and then scale them outward. And then I'm going to drag this face outward a little bit on the X axis. That'll create a little bit of a bevel. So I'm going to duplicate this piece, move it up. That looks pretty good. I'm going to do another one. So shift, uh, shift to D to duplicate. And so let's join all these together. So hold down shift and left click and then left click on these three pieces. Press control J to join them all together into one piece. And then we're going to mirror across the base mesh. So mirror, add modifier. And set the base mesh. There we go. So by now, I'm sure you get the idea. All I'm doing is just selecting any part on the base mesh. So hold down Shift, right click, and then I'll create a spawn point. And I'll set the place where I can spawn things. And just press Shift A to add a cube or a cylinder of your choice. It doesn't really matter. But uh, that's really all I'm doing for the rest of the armor. And that'll be it for the video. It's pretty simple. But uh, it's really, you know, it's up to you. So if you want, you can skip to the end of the video, and it'll basically just be applying the modifiers. But if you want to learn how to apply uh, objects and just create new objects, but uh, you don't know how to model them, then just you know you keep watching right now. But anyway, let's create another one right here. So shift A, mesh, cube, and just create like a little bit of a shoulder piece or a collarbone piece. And I'm gonna just go back to edit mode and just kind of. Select this etcher, move it down, and I'm going to move this back a little bit again, and then I'm going to select the whole thing, scale it a little bit on the y-axis, and on the z-axis a little bit. Just make sure it's kind of like going through the base mesh, and this looks good. Move this down a little bit. Like I said, it doesn't have to be super like structured or anything, it can be kind of random. 
that's kind of what details are. They're just sort of like non-functional, like extra bits to make it look better. So I'm just going to do that here. And there we go. I mirror it again. And you can choose to not mirror it if you want to make it a little bit asymmetrical. You know, but uh, here I'm just going to do that, that piece. I'm going to edit it a little bit more, extrude it. And I'm still almost done with it, uh, but there we go. Just gotta match it with the under armor here. It's taking a little while, but you can skip to the end of the video if you want. There we go. I'm done with that piece, and I'll start made it, making something for the back. It'll look kind of like a Star Wars clone trooper, uh, like little back apparatus thing. I'm not really sure what it is, but you'll see what I'm talking about. So for the back right here, I'm going to create two cylinders on this side right here. Or this side, it doesn't really matter. It just, you know, I would like to have them on one side. So shift A, create a cylinder, and set the vertices down to however much you want. So I'm going to set it down to like about 16. Usually it starts at 32 by default, which is fine. But uh, I'm just going to set it to 16 just for the sake of low poly stuff. But I'm going to scale it down and rotate it on the x-axis, so 90 degrees. So Rx90 with 90. Scale down a bit. Move it up. So I'm going to drag this face inward. I'm going to go into edit mode. Move it on the y-axis a little bit. I'm going to press E to extrude. Then S to scale down. Just like that. And then E again. I press Y to move it back, and there we go. I'm gonna create another one inside. So E, and then E again, so and then move it outward. Scale down. There we go. So I'm gonna shade smooth. So go back into object mode and press right click, and then shade smooth. So it looks a little bit soft. We need to fix that. So I'm gonna add a subdivision surface modifier to make it a little bit more rounded. But now I'm going to make it a little bit sharper. Let's go back into edit mode. Control R here and right here. To those smooth edges. And then do the same over here. I'm going to do the same inward. So right side. Right there. And there we go. And one right here. That looks good. I'm going to duplicate this piece. So I'll go back to object mode. And move down. And just shift D to duplicate. And I can do it one more time. And right there. So that looks good. That'll kind of line up. And that looks really good. So I'm going to join these all to one piece. So hold down Shift, left click, press Control J to join all of them together, like earlier. And add modifier and then mirror it. And I'm going to set the target as this little piece here. So right now it's actually. Uh, not finished so that's fine uh, we can just select a different axis and that'll fix that like that I'll apply those modifiers so apply and I'm gonna add something down the middle here so I'm gonna shift right click on this piece add a cube shift a then move it out Move it down, scale it inward a little bit. So X S X, then scale it. And I'm gonna do extrude. So select this face, press E to extrude upward, and scale inward a little bit. And let's move this a little bit to the right. That looks good. That looks good. So now I'm going to add a little bit of an ankle, like, cylinder part, like a circle. So I'm going to shift right click on the ankle, shift A, mesh, cylinder, rotate it on the Y axis 90 degrees, scale down, right about there, right here. And let's go into edit mode. So select this face here, press E to extrude, 
then S to scale down. And then do the same again. So E, then Y. That's not doing it right. Just press E, and then S again. And then move it on the Y axis, or the X axis, I mean. Right there. Do it again. So E, and then S, and then extrude outward a little bit. So press S, and then X. And scale it. And scale this a little bit, make it skinnier. On the whole axis, just scale it on the X axis to make it a little bit skinnier. And then I'm going to finally just rotate it a little bit to match the angle of the, the armor piece here. So R, Y, and then just rotate it. Let's make it even. It looks pretty good. So I'm going to shade smooth. And I'm going to go into edit mode. So add some edge loops here. Just where there's smoothness. Right about there. Just move it out a little bit. And we're almost done. So now I'm going to mirror it to the other ankle. Select the base mesh as the target. Now we have one over there. That looks really good. So I'm going to duplicate this whole piece and just move it to right here. Add one extra. So Shift D to duplicate. Move it right there. Just kind of move it to the knee pad area. And there we go. And we're adding an extra edge loop. So Control R and just move it up that way. There we go. So I'm nearly done adding all my details. Uh, I'm just gonna add one right here to fill in the space. So Shift A and Cube. And I'm just gonna move this inward a little bit. Shoot upward a bit. And press Control R. Scroll up once, scale them outward on the x axis, and then add one, another one down the middle. So control R again, and scale outward, and move this face upward a little bit. And move this inward, just create a little bit of depth. Looks pretty good. So scale it a little bit. Just kind of. Looks good. So the more details you add, the better your armor will look. You can add a lot of details, just don't add too many. Uh, here I could I probably could add more, but for the sake of the video, I'm just gonna just stop here because it's fine for me. So the last step is to apply all your modifiers, and I'm gonna finish everything off. So apply. You select each piece, press apply, and then apply here, and on the cylinders here, and over here. So that's it. So now we need to go ahead and separate everything and join everything together. So I'm going to select these pieces here and join them together, Control J, and then I'm going to join into this piece right here. And that's just a part of that. And I'm going to join this with this piece. It's pretty much all the same piece. It's all going to move together when it's when we rig it. And the ones down here. Just join them together with these thigh pieces here. Control J. And join all this together. That's a single piece. And just join these together too. We can leave this alone for now, that's fine. And just join these two this piece. So any piece that it's touching, any details that the armor pieces are closest to, you can join them together to that piece. That should be fine. There we go. So we need to separate these. 
because uh, these are on different feet. So here, I'm going to select this piece here, this piece separate. And so it seems like these these pieces here are joined together when they're not supposed to be. So it's like go back to edit mode, press P to separate by loose parts. And here I'm going to join these together and do the same over here. Just make sure that this piece right here, the cylinder, isn't joined to this part right here because they're different feet and they're not close to each other. That's it. And same over here. Uh, this piece is joined to that one when it's actually supposed to be joined to this one. So press on this one, press L on this piece to select everything. And press P to separate by selection. And join this together right here. And so now I think I fixed that. That's good. So these, this is all one piece. We need to fix that. Press P on this side. I just select everything. So press L. And press P to separate by selection. It's now it's on its own. And that's fixed. So now they're individual on each side. And that's good. I do the same over here. So I'm going to join this collarbone section here to this piece. That's it. So now that everything is applied and all the modifiers are applied and mirrored across, we need to press A to select everything and then set origin to geometry. So right click, set origin to geometry, and that'll recenter everything to their individual geometries. And then it's really nice. So resetting the geometries and the origins will make it easier to rig later on and will allow for better control on the armor pieces. So that's the end of the video. If you have any questions, just leave a comment down below and I'll answer them. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see y'all guys next time. And thanks for watching.